When I started this section on basis, I left out some vocabulary and some notation that will be used in the rest of the textbook, and so it's a good idea to set that down now so we don't so we have it. In R2, we call the standard basis vectors i hat and j hat. i hat is just the vector 1, 0, and j hat is the vector 0, 1. And these are just the vectors in R2 that go from 0 to 1 in the x direction and 0 to 1 in the y direction. In R3, we have i hat, j hat, and k hat. And i hat goes from 0 to 1 in the x direction, j hat goes in the uh, y direction, and k hat goes in the z direction. If I could pick this up and rotate it, I think, well, I hope you would see that this is still, this the, the blue and pink vectors here are the same as the blue and pink vectors here. Um, this plane, the floor of this 3D space, as it were, is the is the xy plane, which is what this is here. So these are literally the same vectors, and I'm just adding another one. We have a set of standard basis vectors in every dimension. For example, in R5, they would look like this. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, and so on. Pretty quickly, we're going to run out of letters, though. I've got I, J, K. K is still the one that has the third component as 1, and everything else is a 0. But now do I use L and M, or P and Q, or what letters should I use for my last two vectors there? So in addition to this I, J, and I, J, K notation, which we quite specifically use in R2 and R3, we will often use E's, E sub 1, E sub 2, E sub 3, E sub 4, and E sub 5, or as many as we need for the space that we're in. And we'll give this set of very special vectors its own special name. We'll call it E sub n. That's kind of a funky cursive E. E is the set of the vectors. In fact, this one is E sub 5. Uh, this is another way to write the collection E sub 5. So now when I say, for example, E sub 17, you'll know what I'm talking about, but I don't have to write out E sub 1, E sub 2, all the way up to E sub 17. And I certainly don't have to write out 1 and 16 zeros, and so on, right? So this notation, E sub n, let me write it more generally up here, E sub n is simply the collection of vectors E sub 1 through E sub n, where E sub i is the vector zeros everywhere except for the ith entry so there's a, there's a, a one in the ith entry and there's zeros everywhere else that's what e sub i is for any given value of i i can be one two three and so on e sub i is one of the vectors in this set first it's it's the first one, and then it's the second one. And in each case, the one moves from the first position to the second position, just like I did here with E sub 5. And this special collect collection of vectors is called the standard basis for Rn. It's worth remembering that the standard basis for any particular space spans the space that it's in and is linearly independent. That's what makes it a basis. And so if you're looking for a basis, then you can always grab the standard basis for a particular space. If you're looking for a basis, you can go to all kinds of lengths to find non-standard vectors uh, to form that basis. But if you're looking, if you're just looking for a basis, you can always use the standard basis.